Hello there, welcome back to the Carver's Witch Shop. My name is Arlene, I'm from Honeybrook, Pennsylvania and um, in the heart of Amish country. Um, <clears throat> what we want to share with you today is how to paint these Santas. Um, this is not my favorite part, but it does bring the Santa to life for sure. So let's bring one of my Santas over here to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do the white portion first, okay, uh, real quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a, um, a real fine um, brush. I have a fine one to do the eyes, and I have a couple of other flat brushes uh, to do the, uh, the wider portions, but there's a variety of, of, of painting brushes that I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in the, in the white, and what I'm going to do is do the eyes here. I'm going to be very careful doing this because um, you don't want to get it on the face. The face stays natural. I don't do any uh, thing to the face at all. Okay, that's how you do the eyes. And I'm going to only show you a portion of this on the tape. And then I'm going to get off of here and finish it up so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to do the eyes. I'll do one half of everything and then I'll let you take care of it when you're off uh, YouTube to so you can take your time doing it. Then I then I'll do the um, once that's done. You always have a little thing of water here so you can uh, you know clean it up a little bit. Then what I'll do is I'll take uh, this flat brush and I'll take that to do the beard. Okay, just kind of rub it in there. and the mustache. And you know, just take your time. Don't don't go fast. You don't have to go fast. Um, the, re the real details are in the eyes. And you know, just take your time. Um, you know, some people love this portion. I like the actual carving the best. Um, but everybody's different. You know, but I've learned to enjoy it. I have to be in the mood to really to be uh, painting um, to do my best. And that's true with any hobby. You have to be, you know, you need a desire to, to work on something, not forced to do things. So I try to do like six or seven Santas at one time. And then, um, you know, I try to finish them up that way. But that's how you do the beard and just be very careful. You know, you don't want it to bleed anywhere. I don't do any prep. I don't seal the wood or anything like that. So you just want to be careful when you paint that it doesn't, you don't put too much that it bleeds into other areas. Okay, so that's roughly how we do it. The lips are done a little differently. That's like the mouth inside of the mouth will be a gray. Okay, just to show you what we're working on here. Okay. So let me go further. I'll finish up the beard later. And then what I also do is I do the top part of the cap or uh, well, the eyebrow. Let's, the eyebrows are white. That's all I do with those. Okay. And then I do the, um, the, um, the hat brim is white. So I do that. You want to be very careful not to hit the forehead or um, the uh, and you can use your finger, your pinky, to really give your yourself some control. See this? I can get kind of close without. You know, if you try it like this, you're going to be shaking all the time. Uh, it really steadies your your brush very well. Get in the habit of doing that, just like you do with the pivoting your um, controlling your knife when you cut. Okay, so this uh, you may have to switch to different. Um, different brushes to do things. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the white. The other things that get to be white is the um, the um, the pockets get become white. Okay, just to show you that. And then this portion, this little portion up here needs to be done. And it's okay because that's white on top so you don't need to worry about hitting that too much. Okay, now you want to you use a flat part of your brush to get up close to things. That works really well. If you're not sure about getting too close, then just switch to a smaller brush. It's simple. 
Okay, so that's how we're doing the white. And the last thing that needs to be white is the tassel on the back. That white ball, so we'll make that white. So those are all our white areas, and that's the first thing I do when I car when I paint these. So I'm going to get off the video here. I'll finish this up, and then we'll come back, and then we'll start the red. All right.